Sukhothai in the north of Thailand under these amazing rain trees. We're right next to the organic farm. I'm going to cook now Miang Kam. Now the word Miang Kam, Miang means something that's small, wrapped up, bite size. And the word Kam means bite size. So you might see a lot of things around Thailand with the word Miang at the beginning and it's something that you put together, place it into a wrap and then pop it into the mouth. This one here is the most traditional of all. And the first thing we need to do is make the sauce. The sauce for me and cum is very sticky, very thick. So make sure you reduce the sauce until it's almost like toffee. Firstly, some water. And then into the water, we break up some sugar. Now we went to the market this morning and I spoke to one of the locals. This is pure cane sugar. And this is what the people who make me and cum sauce in this location only will use this particular sugar. We put three pieces of that in there, about 80 grams. And then some shrimp paste. Shrimp paste, we all know, very strong, very high in perfume, but it adds a flavor that's so unique for this sauce. Then some tamarind pulp. To make your own tamarind pulp, just put some tamarind pot into some warm water and squelch it around until all the flesh comes off the seed. and then we just simmer it until it's the right consistency. While that's cooking, I'm going to make the ingredients for the mian kum. Now, firstly, the leaves. These leaves are called beetle leaves, but you also see them in Australia as pepper leaves. And they actually grow on a vine. They grow everywhere in Thailand. You can pick them up from the side of the street. They're a very firm leaf but easy to chew. But because they are firm, it's really easy to make the me and come. I like to put them into a little fan, just like this, and put them on the side of the plate. Then, next ingredients, we have some toasted peanuts. And again, just sprinkle them onto the side of the plate. Some dried baby shrimp, again, next to the peanuts. Whenever you're putting something on a plate, like an antipasto or something like this, always think of your color combinations. Don't put green next to green and white next to white. Mix them up so it looks more beautiful on the plate. We have some red chilies. Lots of chili. And some desiccated coconut that's been toasted in a wok, dry toasted, until the color really comes out. Just check my sauce. Still got a few minutes. Then some lime. Now this is what's really unique about me and cum. The lime we cut with the skin on, don't peel it. Make sure you remove the seeds. And then dice it into about five millimeter squares. Okay, we'll put those next to the coconut. Some red shallot, again, into five millimeter dice. And on to the plate. And then finally, the last thing, some fresh ginger. Make sure you get young ginger. It's much more tender. So the sauce consistency is perfect. Just a splash of fish sauce at the end. And the reason why I like to add it at the end is the flavor of the fish sauce will remain. It won't cook out. Then we pour that into the dish, but don't serve it yet because it needs to cool down before we can eat the mian kum. So after about 10 minutes, the sauce has cooled down to room temperature, a teaspoon in the sauce, and then what you do is this, take one leaf, bend it so that you can form a cone shape, then place into the cone a small amount of the ginger, some fresh shallot, a few pieces of lime, toasted coconut, enough chili that makes it hot enough for you, some of the dried shrimp, 
peanuts, and then finish it off with that sweet, lovely tamarind sauce. Something wrapped up in the mouth. Me and come.